is really interesting here is the use of a theremin and the way that you brought in an instrument that is, I mean, maybe most famous for its use in what, like the 1920s, 1930s, like quite a while ago. It's a very weird thing, but people still play this. Yeah. Um, so this was like part of lockdown. Um, I worked for this library music company and they did this thing where they got all their clients to just like play musical past the parcel with a piece of, with like a theme. And then you passed it on and on. And, and the person that I got mine from was Charlie Draper, who's a theremin player. And then we just connected and he's a really cool guy. He's, he's not trained to as a musician he trained to be uh, an archaeologist and specializing in egyptology and like he works for the ordnance survey like mapping oh, so wow. it's just like right so this is just some hobby and he's got like a pile of a big collection of, of theremins and honors martinots as well so he was just he's a big marvel fan so when i got the job he played for me on the pitch which i think helped make the pitch sound better um and then he just, he was just so, such a great collaborator. And he was like, send me anything and I'll just give you loads of versions and I'll play them on all my different instruments. And, you know, it was just, it's great when you, when you find a pool of musicians who just want to play your music, because you're only as good as the people playing your music, aren't you, as a composer, I think. <laughs> the instrument is, you know, it's one of those things where like the instrument itself is such a weird... It, Maybe you can describe it, but basically it's electrical interference of some sort that I think is what causes the sound, right? It's like it's a, a metal object and it's the distance of your you're hand playing, to... Yeah, you're playing these metal rods and it's basically to do with where you place your hand affects the sort of feedback loop and creates a tone. And then it creates this really unearthly haunting sound. Um, and it's also got a very, it's very textured. It's very different like from a sort of synth uh sound i think it's just so much rich. yeah so um it was just very it, it felt it became a real voice in the score and like what started off because in in the first episode there's like a a montage like an animation when loki arrives at the tva to show him like what the tva is and it's it's sort of a 1950s cartoon and the theremin was more like used there as a kind of effect theremin that you hear in an old b-movie sci-fi film and then by the end of the score it was, was singing it was like it was a voice it sort of was like it was this you know it, it developed from being an effect to being like a its own kind of really powerful emotion well, it does have that really amazing texture that just feels like so it's it it's thick and kind of like you know i don't know why maybe it's just the kind of analog beauty of it um yeah, in a digital world, so. but it's really yeah. cool how it all comes together. 